So how do you gain the patience to become an author? You know, that's a great question I hear often. And here's the answer. You gain the patience to become an author by looking at what you want to do, that desire, that dream story that you want to create, and then realizing that you know what? If it was easy, everybody would do it. So I'm going to, instead of just talking about it or just getting super excited about it and passionate about it, I'm actually going to commit. Once you make a commitment and write it down and say, I will do this by this day and this time. And if I don't finish by this time, you know, I'm not going to actually reward myself and not just only focus on the end goal when you're working on your patience, but focus on all the little wins you get along the journey, because that's what it's really about. It's not just about, yes, you know, success. I reached the end. I climbed the top of the mountain, but it's all about all of those incremental steps, all of those different things that you overcame, all of those um, challenges that you defeated, all those problems that you burst through, that you destroyed, all the limits that you destroyed, and now you're actually achieving greatness. So your level of patience is predicated on your ability to actually defer gratification, actually delay gratification, actually delay your super excitement, because you have to have the actual mentality that if I'm going to get this done, it's going to take time and be okay if it takes three days, three weeks, four months, or even up to a year, maybe two years, maybe longer. When I made my first book, it took me 20 months. I had to have patience to get that done. And I was hit with almost every type of setback and challenge you could think of. You know, didn't know how to write stories. Um, it took me 20 months because Bold Saga, the first book that I finished is um, African culture. You know, learning about Isin Onsa, Koi, Zulu, all these things are a lot. It's a lot. And I don't speak these languages naturally, so I had to learn them. You know, and this stuff you can't just Google. You have to actually get physical books. In addition to that, you know, COVID happened, my grandfather passed away, I'm working on his funeral arrangements, and I was like, I can either give up on my dream, or I can have the patience to keep going and do it in spite of all the challenges and honor him. That's why chapter one begins with a quote he once told me, days may be dark, but still don't give up. So on your journey to patience and getting your story done, remember, days may be dark, but still don't give up, kings and queens. This is your time. This is your season, and it's time to finish your first book. But have patience along the journey.